Hello. Today I am going to show current students how to navigate to the student planning feature in self-service. This tool is useful for making future plans for enrollment as you can plan classes many semesters in advance. You should always have an academic advisor review your plan to avoid issues in enrollment. To use this tool, you'll need a computer with internet access as well as your Wake Tech key account, username, and password. If you are not sure what your username and password are, you may contact the Wake Tech IT Help Desk Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. at 919-866-7000. To navigate to the Student Planner, I will first need to open www.waketech.edu in Google Chrome. You can use other browsers as well. However, if you are using a Mac, I don't recommend using Safari. Next, I will click the Logins drop-down menu on the upper right of the website. The option we need to click for student planning is self-service. Next, I will log in with my Wake Tech key account, username, and password. After logging in, I see a number of menu options in self-service. Today, we are focused on student planning. After clicking student planning, I can either click go to my progress or go to plan and schedule. The My Progress page covers in detail your degree requirements. I will go over this function in more depth in the next video. For now, let's navigate to the Plan and Schedule function. This opens a screen with three tabs, Schedule, Timeline, and Advising. Let's look at the Advising tab. By clicking this tab, I can see my advisor is listed as the Academic Advising Office. This is a link that will open my email client, allowing me to contact them directly with any questions. If I'm in a health science major, this link will be for the health science advisors. If I'm listed as an associate in applied science major, such as business administration, this tab will be updated after I'm admitted with a specific faculty advisor's name and email. When in doubt, please email us at advising at waketech.edu and we can help direct you to an advisor who can help if you are not sure who you need to speak to. I hope this video helps you navigate to these resources. Please check out the other videos in this series to learn how to use the My Progress tool to see your degree progress, as well as how to plan classes.